And it was blocked by Mamaril. And Tubid is stepping on the gas. Tubid outside Miller with a fake. Miller inside. Side step beauty. Six points for Willie Miller. And that's the kind of game that Coach Joseph Pacheco will want from his team. He wants a fast-paced game. Is that move by Miller? Sidestep beauty, and despite the presence of some defenders, he still scores. Miller now with six markers tonight. Elder Brad saves the ball. Basang basa ng hinebre yung pick and roll play of Maralco, Asi Taulaba and Mac Macardona, so they were able to get the steal. Here's Tubid, falling away. And it's now a two-point game, 26-24 in favor of Meralco. That was once an eight-point lead for the Bulls. Escobar, Taulaba, back to Escobar. And Escobar runs into a brick wall, oh, but still scores against Rudy Hatfield. Here's Hatfield on the left side, Tutubit. Nine to shoot, Pamaril. That's a 17 footer and it's good. Here's Escobar looking for Cardona and Cardona shoots over Miller. What a rebound coming from Tubit. Showing his leaping ability. He type Hatfield goes in. Never looking for the equalizer on display. And last touch on Al Jamal. Rudy Hatfield keeping that ball alive. And our man on the Meralco side is Magu Marjan. Magu, go ahead. You know, Miko, now on his 12th season, Asito Lava tells us that he did not like how he played last season, where he, reg where he registered a career worst 11.2 points per ball game. This is why he took the entire offseason getting in better shape. He had a stint with Smart Gilas, worked with a personal trainer in the U.S., and has been going hard at Meralco's practices. As he says, once he gets used to Archie's system, he's warning everybody of the return of The Rock. Miko? We well, have The Rock threatening to return to his lethal form you have Marlu spotting and finding the fountain of youth so Ryan Gregorio may have two of the oldest centers in the league but pagating sa character at personalidad hindi sila nagkukula well you also have to factor in Bo Belga who's one of the youngest centers in the league <laughs> he's only 23 years old kanya magkatang balan dito sa Maralco Missed by Hatfield, uh, now Meralco protecting a two-point lead, 28-26, over seven minutes to go in the first half. Bola na kay Tao. Escobar. Here's Da. The shot clock winding down, and the ball ends up with Mike Cortez, who's back in the game. And you notice the last couple of times Meralco ran plays, Asito Lava was not posting up. He's content to just give the screens from up high. He's not looking to score, he's looking to shield his teammates. Now fires again. And that will be last touch on Billy Mamarin. A very brief stint on the floor for Asi Taulava. He's been hounded by uh, fever, I believe, in the past few days. Marlo will take his place. But a timeout muna tayo with 6 and 44 remaining in the first half. Coach Ryan's a very good coach. I played for him a couple of times in the, the All-Star. He's a really good motivator. Kaya siya rin nakashoot. Pag nakashoot ng kakampi niya, ganun siya kahit tense mag-coach. Tuwan-tuwa siya pag nakakuha ng stop, nakakuha ng errors. So I'm sure he's gonna motivate his team. And Siguro yun ang may sasali niya sa mga bagong players niya ngayon. They're gonna be pumped and ready to play on Sunday. O yan ang pananaw ng mga Hinebra players sa uh, kalaban nilang coach, Coach Ryan Gregorio. He was always the emperor of emotion. As you look at 
New PBA Commissioner, Attorney Chito Salud. First, right behind, PBA Media Bureau Chief, now in his 50th year, Willie Marcia. <laughs> you know, see, Commissioner Chito Salud, I mean, he's there in the forefront. He's, he's in the line of fire. He's right by the uh, official's desk, and he's looking at every play. He's on top of every situation. And uh, that's a very risky situation for him because anytime the coaches or the players want to say something about a call, the, ref the commissioner is right there to listen to what they have to say. At patuloy ang aksyon dito sa first half. And here's Omolon with a soft touch. Uh, pero Mintes, rebound para kay Cortes. Kanina pag gusto ng Hinebrang may tabla ang laro. And here's Mamaril. And he, <laughs> he won't connect. The players are settling for outside shots. Barangay Nebra, as we mentioned earlier, they want this game to be fast-paced. They've got three guards now on the floor. Somehow, they're not getting the kind of rhythm they want. Tubid, Mike Cortez, and uh, Kagiwa are playing at the same time. Here's, here's a swipe. Well, on the floor, Parza Nebra, Cortez, Tubid, Mamarin, Kagiwa, and Hatfield. 12 to shoot. Cortez creates and scores off the glass, and we're tied at 28 apiece. Just their first deadlock of the ball game. Dahil nga kanina pa lumalamang ang Meralco as Cardona goes in and Cardona will miss. Here's Kagiwa. Hatfield. Hatfield with nowhere to go. And Hatfield still has the ball. And looks like he called a timeout. The 4 and 49 remaining at Tablataya 28 all. We'll be back after this timeout. ang unang araw ng bagong PBA season unang araw din ng bagong kupunan ni Meralco consider a powerhouse rookie quote unquote squad with seven uh, absorbed from the Santa Lucia team three new players and four rookies and si Oji Menor is uh, in the injured list and he could be in the list of acquired veterans and so far Meralco has played 12 or make that uh, 11 players they haven't played Mirza, they haven't played Arau at Chakasi Gamalinda, so three rookies have not played here for Maralco. By the way, there is a new PBA ruling, you can't play 14 players in a game. Now Meng is going one-on-one -on -one with Marlu. A matchup for the ages, and he's stupid with the basketball, and the shot clock expires on Hinebra. <laughs> So Meralco hopes to shatter the deadlock on this play with four and a half remaining due to the second period. Here's a one-on-one -on -one play here on for Marlo Aquino. He had six points in the opening quarter. Drop step, jump hook, no go. Hatfield could not secure the rebound, but it ends up with Mike Cortez. Here's Cortez. Steps on the brakes. Finds two bit. And now Hinebra will organize. Here's Kagiwa, a strong drive, but unsuccessful on the attempt. Omolot, no go, bothered by Eric Meng. Here's Cortez, shot clock down to nine. And you can see the exasperation on the face of Mike Cortez as Intal checks in para kay Ronald Tubin. And you would think that Hinebra wouldn't have too many chemistry problems on the floor. On by, the floor. by now, no? By now. Yeah. Yeah. With so much familiarity among the players. I think Maralco is making a difference on defense. 
They're sticking very, very close to their men on the, on the Hinebra side. Plus, their transition defense has taken away a lot of fast break opportunities by Hinebra. Here's Escobar. Runner. Matthew clears the rebound. Cortez. Intal. Intal. On the move. All the way. That should bring a smile in the face of Coach Joseph Vachigo. Now he never is on top. Got away with a fast break. At Lamangdang Hinebra 30-28, their first taste of the lead. And here's Omolon. Caught he saw an open lane. Kagiwa to Intal. Intal back to Kagiwa for two. Yes, count the basket. Kahit pa pinakaya laman ni Gabby Espinas. And that was the flight to the Furious. And we'll have a 30-second timeout here with Inebra enjoying a four-point lead, 32-28. 30-second timeout brought to you by Handyfix. Um, first aid ng bahay mo. Glad to see Handyfix. Still part of our PBA family. I'm glad to see that JC Intal back to his high-flying ways. <laughs> Yes, pagkapasok lang ni JC Intal making a difference immediately in giving pace to the attack ng Hinebra and two straight fast break points by Hinebra giving them a four point lead Matagal naghintay ang ating mga kababayan para sa pagbabalik ng PBA but now the PBA is back and this is our opening game, Nebra versus Meralco. Let's go to Patricia. You know, Rudy Hatfield was telling me he also, like Eric Meng, feels rejuvenated and this time he's ready to dominate because last conference he felt that he was somewhat of a joke but he says now there's no more joking around just like JC and Tal. He's all business. You know, he was so focused on conditioning in the offseason. 100% focused on either basketball or mountain biking because he really wanted to soar higher this time around. Can you go, Miko? But mountain biking, huh? I suppose that's good for the legs. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good that Rudy Hatfield is back in harness and he's motivated to play hard. He's also a good compliment to Eric Meng, Silang Dalawa, the Michigan boys. And Intal with a wild shot and Hatfield with a rebound and a putback. And it's now a six point game in favor of Inebra. And that's the ferocity and intensity of a Rudy Hatfield, especially off the offensive glass. Now, Meralco. Uh, suffering a drought here and only six points so far in the quarter. Well, Morocco has not scored in over six minutes here in this period. And big uh, reason is Mac Mac Cardona not able to get his shots. It's Gabi Espinas. Cardona with only two points so far. The defense of Hinebra concentrated on the franchise player. Pero lumang pa rin ang Hinebra, 34-30. With uh, just over a minute remaining, kito sa first half. Wala na kay Cortez. Kagiwa is in motion. Cortez on the move. Trying to go, trying to score against three defenders. And Cardona has it. Cardona gets Kagiwa. And he is fouled. Laban, ng, laban na ng mga batang mandaluyong. Cardona and Kagiwa. Cardona as always... And good words para kay Kagiwa na lagi niyang tinatawag na idol. Cardona getting a nice uh, roar here from the pro Hinebra crowd. You're being, a you're, you're being kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a sign for Cardona that, that season has started. Yeah, pag naririnig na niya, yung naririnig nyo ngayon. Doesn't seem to bother him. I really believe it even motivates him some more. But coach Ryan Gregorio now using his two big men on the floor. I think realizing that he needs to have more strength underneath the boards to prevent Rudy Hatfield from getting those offensive rebounds and putbacks. Twin towers on the floor from Maralco. Asi Daulava at Marlo Aquino. You never thought you'd see the day that uh, <laughs> Asi and Marlo would play side by side. Brothers in arms. Is Intal. Under a minute to go in the second quarter. Intal with a spin. Tough shot. Almost a putback by Rudy Hatfield. And here's 